Welcome back, everybody. This is Travis here at Fisher Hex. Today, I want to talk about the four tangs that I purchased about three and a half weeks ago for the frag system. Now, I ordered a yellow tang, a powder brown tang, a nasal tang, and a unicorn tang. Now, I already had a molly in there. As you can see, he's picking at the power head, or at least attempting to. And uh, I just want to talk about their aggression and kind of how they've been treating each other over the last three weeks. Now, um, the yellow tang has been the more aggressive one, as I mentioned in the previous video. He seems to be batting around the nasal tang on a daily basis. Now, about two days ago, I noticed that the nasal tang had some cuts on him. His dorsal fin was kind of, uh, I want to say shredded, but it definitely wasn't solid. It, he looked like he was getting beat up. So, uh, the way these tangs are, as you can see, they pretty much hide when I'm in the room, but as soon as I leave or they think I'm gone, uh, they kind of come out and do their own thing. Now, basically, I was trying to figure out what was going on. So what I did is I left the room, quote unquote, but uh, you know, kind of kept my head in so I could see what they're doing. So needless to say, they thought I was gone. Immediately, the yellow tank started backing the naso into the corner where the yellow tank is now and just hitting him constantly over, over the head. Uh, like really, really aggressive. I mean, I've been in the hobby for a long, long time and I've never seen a tang just deliberately pound on another one continuously over and over again. Uh, so. It kind of, you know, it kind of explains how the Tang has, I mean, not the Tang, but how the Naso has been acting uh, for the last few days. He's kind of been, like, looking up at the surface of the water like he's dazed, confused, like, just not, just not normal. And then add that to the, uh, you know, how beat up he looks. Something wasn't going right. So, uh, needless to say, I came in yesterday. Uh, he was, you know, still kind of dazed. I put my hand in the Tang. He actually came up. Uh, like came up to my fingers so I knew there was something wrong because obviously a uh, tang wouldn't just come up to your fingers especially if they've been skittish this whole time and then uh, a couple minutes later he laid he started laying on his side and then he passed away uh, but what this yellow tang doesn't know is that he, he might be the aggressor in this tank but uh, unfortunately he's about uh, one-third the size of the blue hippo tang in the main display now she is extremely aggressive as the uh, fox face found out a couple days after he was released into that main display. Uh, she doesn't really mess around. Uh, she was backing him into the corner and um, the reality is, is this yellow tank might be the, the you know ruler of the roost right now but once he goes into the main display I have a feeling if he doesn't uh, you know calm down and, and, and become docile he will probably not make it um, with his so-called attitude in the main display because she she is uh, <laughs> it's not scary how aggressive she is. She's just like, this is my place. Uh, you're going to do what I say. And if you don't like it, I'm going to put you into the corner. Uh, just as pretty much what he's doing right now. Um, just not as aggressive as he was. That was pretty brutal what he was doing to that uh, nasal tank. Now, as you guys know, I've lost the um, powder. Uh, sorry. So the nasal tank has gone now. The clown tank is gone. The orange shoulder tank is gone. And the other unicorn tank is gone. So I've lost those fish over the last month, uh, various uh, parasites and now, you know, just tang aggression. Now this is what was, you know, expected. This stuff happens during quarantine. That's why we have a quarantine system to see how fish are doing, how they're reacting and, and how they're going to do in the future, pretty much. Now, uh, these fish are gonna be in the frag tank for probably another week and a half or so. They look good, there's no external parasites. They're eating like horses. Uh, and then I'm gonna introduce them into the main display. Now, when it comes to the sail fin, which is the only fish left in quarantine in, in that quarantine system right now, I am bringing him out of hyposalinity. Uh, basically what I did is I removed about half of the water and I'm slowly adding 1.026 water to that system on a daily basis, bringing him up. So he's he's almost there. It's gonna be another couple days till he's at uh, regular salinity, but he looks great. He's got really good color. He's feel, you know, he looks full of life and uh, I think he's ready to come out of the quarantine system. So he'll be out about the same time these guys are. So I think I'm gonna add all four of them to the main display, main display at the same time in hopes that the uh, aggression will uh, kind of be spread up between everybody and not one person being targeted, especially from the hippo tank. But uh, that's pretty much it for this video, guys. Uh, as you can see, the frag system is pretty full of coral. I've, like I said, there's about 380 frag slots in this system, and it's about 98% full. So I'm going to be bringing a majority of this with me to the frag swap this weekend. So I'm pretty excited to um, you know, sell, sell you guys uh, coral out of my reef tank. And um, hopefully everything goes well, and I look forward to beating everybody, as I mentioned in the previous video. But uh, that's about it, guys. Uh, if you liked the video, give me a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe for more, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.